proclamation from Governor Jim Justice. Whereas pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States, and it is anticipated to become the second in the next few years. And whereas pancreatic cancer is one of the nation's deadliest cancers, with a five-year survival rate of just 9%, and whereas in 2019, an estimated 56,770 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in the United States, and approximately 45,750 will die from the disease. And whereas in 2019, it is estimated that 1,475 West Virginians will be diagnosed with this deadly cancer. And whereas pancreatic cancer is the ninth most commonly diagnosed cancer in women and the tenth most commonly diagnosed cancer in men. And whereas risk fa factors for developing pancreatic cancer include family history of the disease, age, chronic or hereditary pancreatitis, smoking, obesity, and long-standing diabetes. And whereas pancreatic cancer may cause only vague symptoms that could indicate many different conditions within the abdomen or gastrointestinal tract. Symptoms include pain, usually abdominal or back pain, weight loss, jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and eyes, loss of appetite, nausea, changes in stool, and recent onset diabetes. And whereas the location of the pancreas deep in the abdominal cavity is a factor hindering early detection of pancreatic cancer. And whereas surgical removal of the tumor is possible in less than 20% of patients, the most common type of pancreatic cancer, chemotherapy and or radiation may be offered before or after surgery. And whereas there are compact complex biological features of pancreatic tumor that distinguish it from many other cancer types. And whereas the good health and well-being of the citizens of West Virginia are enhanced as a direct result of increased awareness about pancreatic cancer and research into early detection, causes, and effective treatments. And whereas this month brings support to those patients currently bat battling pancreatic cancer, as well as those who have lost their battle to this disease. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Justice, governor of the great state of West Virginia, do hereby proclaim November 2019 as Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month in the Mountain State and encourage all citizens to join me in this observance. In witness whereof, I hereunto set my hand and cause the great seal of the state of West Virginia to be affixed. Done at the capital, city of Charleston, state of West Virginia, this 21st day of October in the year of our Lord, 2019, and in the 157th year of our state, Jim Justice, Governor. Thank you. Do pictures after? Yes. Okay. Of course, I always have a few words. And thank you, Ann, for being here to present that to us. And I'd like to call on Todd from uh, Senator Capito's office to say a few words. Thank you, Annette. It's an honor to be here today. I try to make this every year if I can. Um, I have greetings from United States Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Thank you to Annette Fetty Centelli for inviting me to participate in today's Governor's Proclamation for Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. Although I'm unable to join you in person, I want you to know how proud I am to partner with the Pancreatic Cancer Ac Action Network to spread awareness, advocate for research, and improve outcomes for pancreatic cancer patients and survivors. Often referred to as the toughest cancer, pancreatic cancer claims the lives of 91% of its victims within the first five years. It is a brutal disease, rarely noticeable in its early stages, attributing to a high mortality rate. Pancreatic cancer patients deserve better treatments, more research, and brighter outcomes. 
As a member of the United States Senate Appropriations Committee, I pledge to continue to support your efforts through funding the National Institutes of Health, NIH, one of the world's leading medical research centers. In fact, I am proud that the fiscal year 2020 appropriations bill contains a $3 million increase for NIH, which adds up to an a total increase of $12 million since 2016. I would like to commend Governor Jim Justice for today's proclamation and for his help raising awareness for pancreatic cancer. Additionally, I want to rec recognize the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network for their activism throughout not only the state of West Virginia, but throughout the halls of Congress. Your advocacy is absolutely vital and appreciated by everyone touched by this disease. Finally, to the support to the survivors and families of pancreatic cancer, your strength is an inspiration to us all. You make me proud to serve the great state of West Virginia and the United States Senate. Sincerely, Shelley Moore Capito. Thank you all so much. As we near the end of Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month, I'd like to call your attention to some additional statistics and facts related to this terrible disease. When I first started volunteering with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network in 2007, the five-year relative survival rate was just 6%. Now it's 9%. It is the goal of the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network to reach a 12% survival rate by the year 2020, which is actually next year. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make that, but we are gradually increasing it, which is great, just not fast enough. When I first started volunteering with the organization, pancreatic cancer was the fourth leading cause of cancer death. It's now the third, and it's expected to be the second sometime in the near future. In the past 12 years, I've seen the number of pancreatic cancer patients increase by 20% here in West Virginia. But encouragingly, though, I've seen the number of survivors increase here in West Virginia. I'm happy to say that I personally know of eight survivors that I, I feel like they're my kids, um, including a 20-year survivor in Marion County, and um, her daughter works in Senator Manchin's office in Fairmont, and she just recently retired. In 2012, we helped pass the Recalcitrant Cancer Research Act through Congress, which directed the NCI to come up with a framework to study pancreatic cancer. The number of public and private funded researchers has continued to grow due in a large part to this important piece of legislation. We also helped pass the 21st Century Cures Act. The members of our West Virginia congressional delegation were very supportive of these important pieces of legislation. And my congressman, David McKinley, was instrumental in having $6 million designated in, this, in the upcoming budget for the Department of Defense to come up with a certain plan to specifically study pancreatic cancer. In addition, three members of our West Virginia congressional delegation have joined the caucus on the deadliest cancers, Congressman McKinley, Senator Capito, and Senator Manchin. And we are hoping that Congressman Mooney and Congresswoman Miller will soon join. And also, just as a side note, former West Virginia Governor William Marlin actually passed away from pancreatic cancer. Since October 4th, 2007, I've made it my mission to demand better to help rid the world of this horrible cancer. I demand better not only in memory of my brother, but many others affected by this terrible disease. And also, I demand better for my 15-year-old daughter so that she won't have to use other lose other relatives. Hopefully, when she is an adult, pancreatic cancer will just be a distant memory. When she was just six years old, then Governor Manchin sat on the couch right back there and read a proclamation to her. And he said, it's important that you do what you're doing so that other little girls don't lose their uncles. This is why we continue to wage hope in the fight against pancreatic cancer. And I'm so happy today that we have one of our rock star, superstar survivors with us today, John Homburg, who is actually working just down the hall. And he actually, we were to have another survivor with us today, but she was under tremendous pain and wasn't able to um, attend. But she and John both threw out pitches during our annual Purple Power Night in July. So we're very glad that John and his daughter and wife are here as well. And we'll make sure that he's front and center for all the pictures because he's our, he's, a, he's our inspiration. Thank you all very much for coming today, and we look forward to defeating this cancer in our lifetime. <laughs>